Are you looking to move to the Phoenix area or maybe you already live here, but you're looking to maybe stop renting and settle down in that more permanent place and you want to do so in a gray area with as little crime as possible? Well, this video is for you because this video, we're going to talk about the five most dangerous cities in the entire state of Arizona. But really quick guys, if you could just go ahead and smash that subscribe button, subscribe and go ahead and ring that notification bell and get us out to more people who could use this good information when it comes to crime and safety because who doesn't want that when it, whenever you live in any city in America. So before we start with number five, you know we like to go from the bottom up and save the best for last or maybe in this case it's the worst for last. We're going to go ahead and just make reference really quick to notate that Arizona has seen a lot of uh, population growth especially in the Phoenix area, but the state has as well. Now, most of the state is actually publicly held land and only about 20% of it is actually privately held land. So most of the population is on the privately held land. Other parts are government held land. You have Native American reservations. You have other uh, national parks and things of that nature where you really don't have necessarily a lot of population, but nonetheless, Arizona has experienced a huge population growth, especially post COVID. But why are people moving to Arizona? There are a lot of reasons for that. In fact, I have multiple videos on this channel about just that and all the positives when it comes to Arizona and the greater Phoenix area. But every place does have its downsides. There are pros and cons on both sides. And this one specifically is a con that we are talking about and that is crime. Nobody wants to be around crime. Everyone wants to feel safe when they're living, especially if they have family, the kids, things of that nature. So it's very important to know where those areas are and then you can decide if they're right for you. Now, starting with number five, number five is going to be Page, Arizona. That's right, guys. Page, Arizona is a smaller town, population of about only 8,000 people, but it's known for Antelope Creek and all the natural landscapes that it has in that area. Now, it's located in the uh, northern part of Arizona, the northeast part of the state, actually. And it's beautiful up in Page. It's also right next to Lake Powell, which is a big, huge recreational lake. A lot of people from Utah actually come down and cross the border of the state here to go to Lake Powell right there in Page because it's such a beautiful lake and huge and great for recreational boating as well. So Page is awesome. Now, because it's smaller, when you have some crime, it obviously exasperates a little bit because the percentages go kind of crazy. But Page actually has about 106% higher crime than the national average. According to FBI statistics, there were 52 violent crimes and 224 property crimes in Page. Now, overall, cost of living is 99.1. What does that mean? Just a quick review. The national USA average for cost of living is 100. Now, will a city comparison to that be below or more? Page is at 99.1. So it's very, very similar to the average good old American town when it comes to cost of living. Housing is at 105, a little bit above the average for housing specifically with a median price point of $362,400. A higher price point for a smaller town. But because of all the recreational and tourism that Page experiences, it's, uh, it's obviously a little more expensive. So again, Page comes in at number five for the fifth most dangerous city in the state of Arizona to live. Okay, coming in at number four is Winslow, Arizona. That's right, where is Winslow? Winslow, again, a smaller town. You're talking about just under 10,000 people, residents in Winslow, Arizona, and it's located right off the I-40 in the northeast part of the state of Arizona. So a lot of people, if they're coming across east to west from say New Mexico, Texas into Arizona, they're gonna be traveling on, on I-40, the interstate there, and you're gonna pass right through Winslow on the way to Flagstaff before heading south towards Phoenix. Okay, regarding cost of living in Winslow, the overall cost of living is 80.4, so it's definitely below the national average of 100. Housing is 46.5, it is cheap. Median home price is only $169,000 living in Winslow. So again, the overall cost of living in Winslow is much lower than the national average. So Winslow is a old charm, known for its old charm, western feel of a town, small town, does have some tourism, and some people will actually stay there when they're driving or commuting along I-40 so it's a, it's a bedroom community to an extent from that standpoint. But again, if you're gonna stay in uh, Winslow, uh, most visitors will stay right off the interstate or in tourist areas, uh, because if you go into town, it's about a 107% higher crime rate than the national average according to FBI statistics. So a little more higher than crime, violent crime, not terrible, but a lot of property crime 
is happening in Winslow, Arizona. Okay, coming in number three is Holbrook, Arizona. Again, a smaller town, about 5,000 residents. It's located on the Navajo Reservation, Navajo County, up in the eastern, northeastern part of Arizona. Uh, right now, residents have about a 1 in 15 chance of experiencing some type of crime as it's uh, about 204% above the national average. But again, you can see it's a smaller town and it is a tourist area because there are several national parks and landmarks within the vicinity of Holbrook, Arizona. Overall cost of living, you're looking at about 80.9, so it's below the national average. Uh, medium home price is $158,900. So again, if you're looking for cheap living, Holbrook, Arizona is the place to be. But again, you got a, the trade-off of higher crime. Coming in at number two is Globe, Arizona. Guys, another small town. Globe is located actually in the eastern part of the state of Arizona. Now, Globe is this old mining town. And unfortunately, over the last several decades, Globe has lost a lot of its economy with the mining. So with that comes a lot of poverty and, uh, and, and with that comes more crime. So Globe is the second most dangerous city to live according to crime statistics in the state of Arizona with a 254% higher chance to experience crime than the national average. So again, according to FBI statistics, um, residents have a 1 in 13 chance of experiencing some sort of, sort of crime if you live in Globe. Unfortunately, it's sad but true. Now, the cost of living in Globe is pretty cheap, as you could probably expect. Overall, it's an 80.6 cost of living. We take into consideration everything from food to utilities to housing to uh, miscellaneous to um, healthcare, etc. But the housing comes in at 56.1, well below the national average, and the median home price is $198,700. So again, Globe is actually a little bit closer to the Phoenix area, but it is still out there a ways and a uh, big mi old mining town. So again, with a lot of that mining leaving, um, there's still some there, but leaving that creates more poverty, which, which you know, uh, unfortunately leads to more crime. So Globe comes in at number two on our list. Okay guys, winning the award for number one. Yeah, this isn't really an award that you want, but unfortunately someone has to take this cake and Tolson, Arizona, takes the cake, they win the award, the one you don't want for the most dangerous city to live in the state of Arizona. Tolson is located as a suburb of the greater Phoenix area on the southwest part of the valley uh, attached to the city of Phoenix. Tolson comes in with a one in eight chance of a resident experiencing some type of crime. Now theft is the most um, prevalent crime for Tolson. Uh, car theft, carjackings, things of that nature, and property theft as well. According to FBI statistics, Tolson comes in with a 470% higher chance to experience some type of crime if you live in Tolson. And the crazy part, guys, is Tolson is a suburb of Phoenix. It, it's one that you know is more blue collar and it is cheaper to live there. At the same time, you just don't think of it as being that much crime, but it comes in at, at number one. Overall cost of living is 102, so just a little bit above the national average, which according to Arizona, coming in at 106. By the way, the cost of living for Arizona on average is 106.4 above the national average by 6.4 points. Tolson is below that at 102. The median home price is $356,000, coming in with the overall housing cost of living at 103, just three points on housing above the national average. So again, it's one of those situations where in Tolson, it's, it's a smaller suburb, and it's located in an area where there's more poverty, unfortunately more blue collar, and therefore higher crime. A lot of people in Tulsa though, with the newer homes, because there's some track home building in Tulsa, they do obviously um, have an alarm. In fact, in Phoenix in general, a lot of places have alarms. I would say in America in general, over the last 20 years, the alarm companies have done very well because a lot more people are starting to put alarms on their homes um, to just help fight their personal crime that potentially could occur no matter where you live. So that rounds up the top five most dangerous cities according to crime statistics in the state of Arizona. Now notice one of those was in the greater Phoenix area and that's the suburb of Tolson. Outside of that, you could see a theme here guys. Most of the crime, the higher crime, more dangerous places to live were smaller towns. And I think a little bit has to do with the skew of the percentages, given the fact that there's not a whole lot of population. So if you have just a couple crimes, then that really exaggerates the situation. That being said, the two most populous cities in the state of Arizona are Phoenix and Tucson. And if you did the top 10 list, Phoenix and Tucson do make the top 10 list. Phoenix comes in at number nine, Tucson at number seven on that list. Now that's a little more specific because it makes more sense because you know when you have a bigger city, there's always gonna be demographics that range from very wealthy people to very uh, impoverished people and maybe a bigger homeless count. So 
you, there naturally follows more crime in that situation. That's just what the stats prove. That being said, it's no wonder that those two larger cities are on the top 10 list, even though they didn't make the top five. But there are certain pockets, certain areas within a large city, that, and I would argue almost any large city in America, where it's going to be a little more higher of a crime rate than other parts of that same city because it's so big. And from street to street, from district to district, neighborhood to neighborhood, it does vary in, ter in terms of the population that lives there. Um, and the age of the population, uh, the income levels of the population, and so on and so forth. So those are all determining factors when it comes to crime. And unfortunately, guys, I don't love to do a video like this because it's kind of a downer, right? But the reality is, is our channel is about informing every single person who watches exactly what's going on and the good and the bad, and in this case, the ugly, when it comes to everything Phoenix. So that we're committed to that and we're always gonna bring that to you. We're not gonna sugarcoat anything. We might be a little biased at some things because we think Phoenix is overall a pretty cool place to live, but it, this is an informative video that I think everyone needs to know where the most dangerous when it comes to crime rates places are to live in the entire state of Arizona. Guys, thank you so much for joining our video as always. And if you could just go ahead and uh, ring that bell and subscribe for our channel. And again, don't forget to call me if you have any questions about anything real estate related in Phoenix, call me. And that is 480-660-5974. You can email at info at cookingassociatesaz.com or check us out right here on our Instagram page at Kelly Cook Homes where we're putting out daily content for your personal enjoyment. Guys, thank you so much. Don't forget to call. Call me.